Hey guys, it's Doug here. How's it going? This is my first Christmas candle video of 2018. I'm doing a little bit different a style of a candle video than I normally do. It's uh, sort of a cold sniff impression one, sort of a haul, even though I got some of these previous, but um, I guess so. I, I should just get right into it. So Kringle Candle, they had a sale recently on their daylighters. It was, I believe it was 12 for 24, or you could get 24 for 48. Um, I have found the daylighters, which these are the uh, the daylighters here, and I will flash these up on the screen. My lighting behind me is a bit crazy, so apologies. I know it's going to look washed out. Um, this one here is Christmas, by the way. Uh, but the thing is, with the daylighters, they are like supercharged tea lights. I've talked about them on this channel before, and they are great. Um, they're great to melt. They're great to burn. They're actually very strong for something this size. Um, but what I've done here recently for them... I just like to keep them. Even if I melt them for a little bit, I'll pour them back into the containers and it kind of gives me an archive of their scents because I don't have any Kringle dealers around me. So, um, you know, if I'm going to order the full size candles, I like to know what I'm getting into because returning them, I'd have to send them back and it's just a pain. I'd rather know what I've got. So, um, at this point, I think I have like, I have like 40 different Kringle daylighters actually in my possession here from fall, Christmas, summer, spring, um, pretty, you know, the Halloween ones. I've talked about those before. Uh, but anyways, so with this sale last week, I pretty much got my whole Christmas collection uh, completed from them. I have most of them, not every single one, but I've got most. Um, I had a couple of these previous, but uh, most of this haul though that I did uh, last week was the Christmas crinkle one. So um, I just wanted to talk about pretty much the whole line of Christmas and winter scents from both Country Candle and Kringle in my cold sniff impressions on them. Now, I did burn a couple of these because I've had some of these daylighters for a little while, or I've melted a couple, um, but in general, this is going to be on cold. So, all right, let's get to it. I have 12 different scents, actually. Now, 13 daylighters, but uh, two of them are dupes, so 12 different scents. So, all right, sorry, let's get into it. Now, up first here, this is Christmas, and uh, I just got this one the other day, and uh, let's see what it's like. I can see why this one has a great reputation. Okay, so this is like a piney, evergreeny type scent with a very, very pronounced and authentic wood. Um, you know how some scents are kind of woody with cologne based? None of that. Like, this is super authentic. Um, you know how when you snap a Christmas tree branch, they're wet inside and that dampness and the, the wood, it has that own smell. You can almost feel the Christmas tree branch when, a branch when you smell this, like a snapped one. That is fantastic. Uh, love this scent. It'll be interesting to see whenever I melt this, but I can tell you, um, this here, I'm going to get a full-size candle of this. You will see a review uh, at some point of this scent on my channel. This is fantastic. All right, so up next, this is Cozy Cabin. And uh, this one here, I'll put it up close here, sorry. I have burned this one, actually. I got this one a while back, and... Uh, this is, um, I, I love this scent. I love Cozy Cabin. So um, this is a candle, uh, you know, a scent. I've been trying to get a real candle of it, full-size one, if it would ever go on, you know, real sale. That's the thing. Kringles rarely go on sale or at least a significant sale. So that's why I found it good to have these daylighters because whenever something does go on sale, I can jump on it, you know, if I want to get it. So anyways, Cozy Cabin. This scent to me, uh, it's very, as the name says, it's cozy. So you've got... It's like a little bit of a smoky scent, reminds me of like a fireplace, but you have some nice baking spices to dull it down, and they're not like cinnamons or, you know, the really spicy spices. It's like a vanilla, or, you know, like a, like a brown sugar, um, almost, I want to say molasses type, but not really molasses. It's just a very, um, a very mild uh, baking spice candle with a little bit of smoke on it, a little bit of woodiness. It's really like the name says. Again, I hate to be lazy, you know, with that, but I think this is aptly named. It's like a cozy cabin in the winter if you've got something, you know, that you're baking. Not necessarily cookies or a pie or something, but just in general, just a general baking uh, type scent. I, this is not a gourmand scent, though, um, again, because the uh, the smoke and the wood, those are a little more pronounced than the, the baking spices. But again, it's just a very, very nice blend. All right, so this is White Woods. Let's see how this one is. Okay, I do not care for this scent. <laughs> I can tell you that from the first uh, the first sniff here. It's like an acute pine that's a very sharp pine to where it's like jamming my nostrils is what it's like. It's almost and it almost comes off candied like um like uh what are the it's like a smarty or something. I know that's a very weird description. 
almost a little uh, soapy or de deodorant. More, you know what? I, I'll call it that. It's more like the a men's deodorant. That's a little bit of pininess. Yeah, this is um, this one is not for me. Great looking label though. I'm glad I tried it. But uh, yeah, this one to me, it's it's very deodorant like. All right, up next year, this is Kringle's Jingle All The Way. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is cinnamon underneath, top notes of like fruit. I get some fruit here. Boy, that's, it's, it's really interesting how the scent is layered because it is, um, it's like a berry, like a berry scent, generic berries. I don't get like a raspberry, I don't get necessarily a blueberry. It's just sort of a berry scent with uh, the cinnamon coming up right behind it. That's really all that I'm getting here. It's nice. Um, I could see this being festive. Again, if you like berries and that cinnamon underneath, of course, you know, the, that sharp cinnamon kind of says the holidays for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, it's like, a, it's like a fruity big red gum. That's a, a good way I can use to describe it. So jingle all the way. Um, I don't think I would get a candle in this, but it's not bad. All right, now this is a new country candle scent here for this year. Uh, baby, it's cold outside, so let's check that out. Okay, so I know what they're trying to do here. It is like a vanilla, a top base like a vanilla, vanilla bean, something like that, uh, very sweet. Um, but the underneath is that crisp, I wanna say deodorant, I, I don't mean to keep doing that, but it's like that generic freshness, right? A sharp freshness underneath and um, it, it kind of simulates it, what I'm guessing they're going for there is that you know, like snow in the air, like that, you know, a crisp, fresh snow with vanilla on top to smooth it out. It's not a bad scent. Yeah, if you like fresh scents, but you want it to be a little sweet, I could see how you could dig this. And uh, the name is, you know, I think that the name is good here. A uh, little sweet snow. That's, that's basically what they're trying to go for here. Not something really in my wheelhouse, um, but it's not bad. So, uh, Give it a try if you think that sounds you know good like a a sweet fresh scent um, Not laundry ish. I don't think it goes that far. I really like laundry scents actually, but This one doesn't go there again. It airs more on the deodorant side um, But uh, yeah, the vanilla is definitely pronounced there. So it definitely sweetens it up. So that is baby It's cold outside moving right along here. This is cinnamon bark All right, I want to eat this candle. This is nice This is straight up baking cinnamon. It's not super hot. It uh, sort of like a like a snickerdoodle, oh, like a hint of woodiness underneath it. I don't I don't burn cinnamon scents like straight up cinnamon scents, um, but I think I could actually do this. It's a little bit gingerbready, almost like there's some kind of a bakery undertone underneath it. Very aptly named cinnamon bark. Yeah, so uh, again, another you know authentically named Kringle candle. They do that really well. So that is cinnamon bark, a nice, nice cinnamon uh, baking scent. All right, this is another new country candle. This is uh, Twas the Night. So let's see here. I like the uh, festive label that it's got on there. Little kid actually looking outside there. You know, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Let's see what this one's like. It's got a dark base. I want to say... I don't want to scare people off, almost like a patchouli base underneath here with a fruit on top. This is interesting. I don't think this is Christmas at all. This could really almost be a Halloween. It reminds me sort of of um, if you've ever tried Fright Night, but not nearly. It doesn't have all the citrus that's in that. It's just somewhat fruity. But it's got those florals in it too, like the um, almost like a crushed jasmine or something in it. Interesting. Earthy, florally, a little bit fruity. Twas the night. Uh, not a bad scent. I don't think it's Christmas, though, really, in any way. Um, I'm not really sure conceptually what they're going for there, but um, yeah, I can't see I'm huge on this one. All right, this is Kringle. Now, I've heard a lot about this one, and of course, the name Kringle, right? Um, this And this is a Kringle brand, by the way, not a country candle. Um, let's check this one out. This is another one that I just received. Okay. Sort of like a smoky men's cologne. Or not smoky, maybe very musky. Smell it for a little bit, kind of burns the nostrils. Again, very cologne-ish. 
maybe a little smoky, but I'm kind of getting that confused with musk. I can't really tell which way it's going, and I've smelled enough of these now. My nose is starting to get a little bit worn out here from trying these, but um, this is another that really could almost be a Halloween fragrance. It reminds me, it sort of has that haunted house vibe. Um, you know, not, not real haunted house, I mean haunted attraction vibe, like, I don't know how to describe it any better than, you know, when you see, like, the, the tarping or cloth that when you're walking through a haunted attraction, you kind of get it stuck in your face, and it's that, that musky scent, um, almost a little bit of incense, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, it just absorbs all the smells from in there, and you get that in your nose, that's sort of what this is like. Okay, on this scent here, on, on that smell, I get lumberyard sawdust, like, big time, um, Big sawdust, like wood, wood chips, cedar chips. Yeah, that's um, it's interesting. I think it's a it's a nice fragrance for Halloween. I'm not really big on it for Christmas. So that is Kringle by Kringle. All right, guys, this is Fireside. This is a uh, country candle, uh, candle here, and uh, you can see I've had this one actually for a little while. I did burn this at one point, and uh, it was very strong. Whew, man, opening this up, it's wafting out here. I love Fireside. It is a smoky, um, a little bit, not fruit, more like citrusy. Yeah, smoky citrus where the citrus is at the end, the smoke is up front. It reminds me of like a fireplace hearth. Very comfy. Love, love, love this scent. I know it's been around uh, for a little while now, but that is Fireside. And uh, this is a candle. At some point, I will try a full-size candle of this. And whenever I can see it on, you know, when it goes on sale and the budget is right, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to jump on this, but I love Fireside. Great scent. And, um, you know, some of these daylighters that I burned, I mentioned at the beginning, but, man, they are strong. These things punch so far above their weight class for what they are. And also, um, I melt them. I've done a couple of reviews on this channel, I know, uh, with melting a daylighter, just putting it in there and pulling the wick out when it's melted and pouring it back in. And they're fantastic. Super, super strong. Um, you know, when they're uh, when they're melting also. So anyways, that was Fireside. All right, guys, this one is Spiced Apple. Now, this one actually could go either or for fall or Christmas, but a lot of people are baking, you know, apple pies and other things for Thanksgiving for Christmas, so I figure what the heck. And you know what? I've had this one around for a while now, and I, I wanted to talk about it. So Spiced Apple, let's do it. And I, I guess I should say I did burn this one. A while ago not for very long but it was very strong very strong here on cold too but the best way I can describe this is uh, if you ever had a toaster strudel an apple toaster strudel which is a guilty pleasure of mine that is the insides basically this is the filling of a toaster strudel um, it's very authentic too here it's that very sweet sweet spiced apple apple pie filling too you could call it that uh, but again it's the sweet very sweet apple you know sometimes when you have cinnamon in there because there is some cinnamon in here of course apple cinnamon uh, but when you have that a lot of times it can be very um, well the cinnamon can be you know very overpowering and that can be the dominant thing that's not this is very very sweet uh, that's really all there is to it though it's um, just a very super super authentic apple pie filling or toaster strudel filling whatever uh, whatever you want to call it there but um, that is spiced apple all right, guys, that brings us to one that I know is a favorite of many, Christmas Stroll by Kringle Candle. This one has been around for a long time, and uh, it's another one I had burned it slightly just to see what it was like burning, and let's let's see here. This is a beautiful, like a Christmas tree scent, um, pine spruce type scent with a little bit of citrus underneath it to, to smooth it out. So authentic. That's, it's... You know, it's, it's amazing. There's a little bit of spiciness here too, not just citrus. It's like pine, spices, and citrus. And it is a beautiful mix. This is one that I really need to get the full-size candle of this. Um, I've had this daylighter for a couple years now, actually. And I know I've needed to get the candle. It's just, it never lines up. Whenever the Christmas stuff is on sale, it's when I'm buying other stuff. But um, I am going to have to get a couple of these Christmas scents. But Christmas Stroll, uh, this scent is highly recommended by me. It, uh, it is very, very nice. And at some point, you will see a review of this on my channel, the full-size candle. All right, guys, and it is time for the last scent, and it's actually two daylighters because these are dupes of each other. Um, this is Snow-Capped Fraser by Kringle, which is also the same as Mountain Sunrise, which, man, um, again, it's washed out, sorry, but I'll flash the picture up here so you can see it. A lovely label on this. But um, yes, these are dupes of each other. This is a very nice, 
uh, pine scent. It's actually reminiscent of the Yankee Candle, one that's out right now, the returning favorite, um, Balsam Forest, which is also a dupe of uh, the Sea America Great Smoky Mountains, if you had that one a couple years ago, which I love that scent. It's like a slightly more refined. It's like a watery version um, a pine. I say watery, not really watery. I can. It's like a watery note in there, some kind of a cooling note almost. It just it just reminds me of that. But um, very pine, very wood heavy. It's like being in the woods and a hint of freshness on top where you can get that little bit of a glistening snow. And this one here, Snowcap Fraser, which is a dupe. I mean, I, there's probably a little bit of discrepancy in the pores. There may be a, one of them, the notes are a little bit stronger. This one here is a tad more piney where this one's a tad bit cooler, but you can tell they're like the same scent. Um, Get a little more wood here in this one, actually. But they're they're similar. Um, love this scent. You know what? Both have great labels, but I think I'm going to do this. A Mountain Pine. Uh, or sorry, Mountain uh, mountain Sunrise. Sometime this winter. This is a great winter scent. I don't think this is necessarily a Christmas scent. Um, but it's a very nice, you know, deep, deep winter type of scent. And uh, I love those kind of pine scents. All right, guys. Well, that is all of them. Hopefully, um, you know, if you're wondering about Kringle... Or country hopefully that helps you make a decision even though you know apology i didn't have the full candles i will have some of them at some point but hey again i, I just found daylighters are a great way to collect them whenever they go on sale you can get them for a great deal when they go on sale like that and uh they just work great for collecting the scents so you can have an archive of them and have a you know so you can experience the whole kringle thing without spending 30 bucks on a candle to realize you don't like it and uh, i will say though most of the kringle scents i do like they they know what's up. Um, and uh, if you have to ask me a favorite of the whole line that I just talked about of the various candles, it's got to be this guy. It's got to be Christmas. This is, um, man, this is a beautiful scent. It's What puts it over the edge is, again, that authentic woodiness, like a watery woodiness. Like you just snap that Christmas tree branch and the moisture, you can just, you can smell it. With the needles, it's just, um, it's, it's an amazing scent. This is fantastic. But, uh, you know, Kringle, I've always said that Yankee does Christmas best, at least as far as how many scents that they have available. Well, I can tell you now from having done a bunch of the Kringle uh, in country, not all of them, but a good number of them so far, man, they're, they're, they're second to none. The Kringle stuff is great. But um, yeah, Christmas was my favorite out of this bunch. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching me ramble on here. Hey, if you guys like this kind of video, I've kind of been unsure whether to do a longer video like this where I just talk about stuff on cold. Uh, if you guys like it, let me know. I'm always getting different votives, um, you know, from various companies. I know that actually I'm working right now to get, I'm going to try and buy a votive of every kind that Village has whenever they go on sale. Village Candle, that is. So, because I don't have much experience with them and I'm wanting to try them out. But anyways, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, I'd love to do them. Um, I don't really have a lot of time to get my thoughts together when I'm just kind of doing them off the cuff like this. But you know what? I know that some of you guys like that. So, uh, or probably like it, maybe you don't. Uh, but anyways, that was uh, a Kringle Christmas, at least what I've experienced so far in daylighter form. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you soon.